Hello Internet, our topic today is on antimicrobial drug resistance. In this video, we will position AMR as a global complex problem and conclude perspectives in which we can approach to take positive steps forward to combat the AMR issue. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. What is antimicrobial drug resistance? Antimicrobial drug resistance, AMR, is a big problem that happens when tiny organisms like bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites become resistant to drugs that were once effective in treating infections. This makes it hard to treat infections and can lead to more illness, disability and death. AMR and Drug Overuse or Misuse One of the main reasons for AMR is overusing and misusing antimicrobial drugs. When these drugs are used too much or the wrong way, the microorganisms they target can become resistant to them. This happens in both human medicine and in agriculture, where antimicrobials are used to prevent and treat infections in animals. Healthcare Burden on Infrastructure and Resources Across the globe, different countries have varied capabilities within their healthcare systems or infrastructure to handle epidemics or pandemics, as revealed by COVID-19. It will be more critical if poor infection control practices including infection control measures aren't used or aren't effective, then we have a problem which is we will see infections can spread easily, putting pressure on microorganisms to become resistant. Plus, poor sanitation and not having access to clean water and basic sanitation can also contribute to the spread of resistant infections. Natural or forced evolution Another reason for AMR is the genetic makeup of microorganisms. Microorganisms can naturally develop resistance through genetic mutations or by getting resistance genes from other microorganisms. This can happen on its own or through a process called horizontal gene transfer. Follow prescription guidelines. To fight AMR, it's important to reduce overusing and misusing antimicrobial drugs. This can be done by developing and using prescribing guidelines, using more targeted and personalized treatment plans, and creating new drugs. It's also important to improve infection control practices, like using hand hygiene, cleaning the environment, and using contact precautions. Integrating Awareness and Good Practices Also, it's important to improve access to clean water and basic sanitation, as well as educating people about the importance of good hygiene practices. And last, but not least, it's important to invest in research and development to create new drugs, diagnostic tools and vaccines, and to understand how drug resistance works. Still a complex problem. Thus far, we have seen why AMR is a big problem which is complex and poses a multifaceted issue that has significant implications for global public health. The perspectives on AMR are diverse and can vary depending on the context and the stakeholders involved. Let's run through them one by one. Medical Angle One perspective on AMR is the medical perspective. From this viewpoint, AMR is a major concern because it can make it difficult to treat infections and can lead to increased illness, disability and death. Medical professionals, such as doctors and nurses, are often on the front lines of treating patients with drug-resistant infections and are keenly aware of the challenges posed by AMR. They are also aware of the importance of appropriate antimicrobial use and infection control practices to slow the development and spread of resistance. Public Health Angle Next up is the public health perspective on AMR. From this viewpoint, AMR is a global public health concern that requires collective action to address. Public health officials and researchers are focused on understanding the epidemiology of AMR and identifying strategies to mitigate its impact. They are also aware of the importance of surveillance and monitoring systems to track the emergence and spread of drug-resistant organisms and will shape health strategies and policies based on the awareness of the latest health trends or threats as they evolve. Dollars and Cents 
From economic perspective viewpoint, AMR is a major concern for the pharmaceutical industry, as well as for governments and other stakeholders. It can lead to increased costs for healthcare systems and can also impede economic growth. Additionally, investment in research and development of new antimicrobial agents is critical to address this issue. Appropriate usage is critical. The environmental perspective, where AMR is seen as a consequence of the excessive use of antimicrobial agents in agriculture and aquaculture is equally important. This is due to the possible discharge of these agents and their residues in the environment which in turn contributes to the development and spread of resistance among microorganisms in the environment, which can subsequently spread to human populations. The Social View of the Problem Lastly, the social perspective, where AMR is seen as a result of social determinants of health such as poverty, inadequate access to clean water and sanitation, and poor living conditions. This highlights the need for addressing the underlying social factors that contribute to the development and spread of drug-resistant infections. Concluding Remarks I guess, thus far, we can all reckon that AMR is indeed a big problem, actually a global problem, that can make it hard to treat infections and lead to more illness, disability, and death. The main reasons for AMR are overusing and misusing antimicrobial drugs, poor infection control practices and the genetic makeup of microorganisms. To fight AMR, it's important to reduce overusing and misusing antimicrobial drugs, improve infection control practices and invest in research and development.